Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. The home of the off-grid cabin. It's very light. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's snowing. <laughs> or it's spitting. It's trying to snow. Let me put it that way. Because it is certainly cold. And windy up in here. This is uh, Saturday the 17th of December. Let's see what's going on. Get some heat going in here. I got a thing I'm going to try to get the solar power now hooked into the service panel. Come on, get in there. I got to get out of this wind. <laughs> Woo! Boy, is it cold. Oh, man. Let's see here now. It's weird not seeing all the solar stuff in the on the wall there. Ah, let's try to get some light in here. That's a little better. Man, what's the temperature in here? Ah, that's not too bad. We're around 30. Let's kick on some heat. Get this place warmed up. Put it on pilot. If I could see. Alright, so I've got it on pilot. And what I do is hold this down. Hit the button to ignite it. And get the flame. Man, it is cold. And I got to hold that button down until the pilot light stays on. Which, as cold as it is right now, I'm going to have to hold this thing on for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds to get the thermocoupler. But I have to get the thermocoupler heated up. And that'll keep the pilot going, and then I can turn on the heater itself. That's all right. So, pilot stayed on. Let's turn this puppy on. Get some heat rolling up in here. There you go. See it light, lighting up. We'll start glowing orange here in a bit. And the heat is coming. <laughs> Nice. All right. Now, as I left you the last time with the solar, I have this yellow extension cord coming in from the inverter. Plugged into a surge protector that has everything plugged into it. That's all the power that was in the inverter. So, what I've got up here is my service panel let me turn my breakers off because I'm going to be hooking up to it and what it is you have to look back at my other things but let me explain real fast I'm first off I am not an electrician I'm not an electrical engineer <laughs> I'm just somebody who had to learn how to do this and I'm telling you, as a prepper, you need to learn this stuff. And because if the shit hits a fan, there's going to be nobody you can call. So the more you can learn and the more you can do yourself, the much better prepared you are going to be. So what I've got here, the way uh, the service panel, breaker box, whatever you want to call it, works... You've got two sides. What comes into your house is 240. And you've got three lines that come in. A neutral. You've got a 120. And another 120. That's your 240 there. One of those 120s energizes 
this side of the service panel. One of them energizes this side of the service panel. I've only got 120 coming in, but I want to energize both sides of the panel. So my main breaker is connected to both sides. It, these individual breakers are only on one side each. Right, so I've got, what is this? I think a 50. I think this is a, that's no, a 30 amp. It's called a double pole because this up at the top hits both sides. It will energize both sides. And because I only have one wire coming in, I put a little jumper to the other one. I've got the one wire going to connect to this. And I got a jumper to this one. So both sides are going to be energized. And then I have circuits. This living room is one circuit. The kitchen is another circuit. My goal is to plug in to the RV plug I've got on the back of the cabin, have the extension cord plug into that, <laughs> and then run everything from the outlets and not worry about the uh, extension cords anymore. Last week, when I ran this, I didn't have that pigtail. I need something to go from the 15 amp from the inverter to 30 amps that'll plug into that RV receptacle. That's all. So, I've got it. Let me try it out. So, this is the plug I was talking about. This is the 30 amp twist lock that's weather tight that'll go in the plug in the back of the cabin and then that will plug from the inverter you know the extension cord from the inverter and I've got a real heavy duty extension cord so it's you know you can't go wimpy on the extension cord and it's only a 25 foot cord you get it as short as possible so that's what I'm gonna try out all right, welcome to the back of the cabin. <laughs> this is my solar, my power shed, if you will, my battery bank, everything I need up here. Everything is still working just fine. But man, I'm telling you what, we ain't got crap. I mean, my batteries are in good shape, but it has been so cloudy and rainy lately. It's amazing I'm getting anything. Let's see if I can see where my... I gotta get this stuff moved. See what I'm at. I gotta get my head in there. <laughs> 26.5. That's good. My, I mean, they're in float, you know. So I got enough light. You see the extension cord coming out of the inverter. Coming around here. And going into the cabin through the hole that I had all the battery cables going through. Now, that's going in there. This is the receptacle that I put in ah, and wired to the service panel. Okay, so this is where I'm going to try to plug in my uh, 15 to 30 amp. Get it on here. I can do it one-handed. Ah, come on, get on there. Okay, if I can get the right one. Ah, there we go. Twist it to lock it. And this will screw it in and keep it all weather tight. And keep that from falling out, too. Ah, come on, get on there. All right. Then I will go unhook everything in the cabin, pull the extension cord out, and plug it into this right here. And then go back in and see what I got. And I just figure out how to get a watertight thing over that. 
but let me go unplug everything and then plug in the extension cord all right let me turn off the surge protector because everything is going to shut down <laughs> there went everything let me unplug this well let me unplug the surge protector so i can pull the wire outside and we'll see what happens all right so now we're live <laughs> I still have a second. Now the test is to go turn the breaker on in the cabin. So let's see what happens when I do that. Man, it is cold. K-O-L-D cold. Okay. Oh. Cabin's not warmed up yet, but at least it's out of the wind. <laughs> okay, let me fill my hole back up again. It'll be nice when I get all this done. I can get the paneling done. All right, here's the test. Let's turn on the main breaker and see what happens. Okay. Things should be energized. Let me plug in the surge protector. Into an outlet. And see if it comes on. Look at that. It has power. Okay, let's start plugging some things in and see if lights come on. <laughs> uh, I gotta put the phone down for a minute. All right. So now you can see the modem's on, the router's on, the surge protector's on, everything is plugged into the receptacle. Breakers are on. Refrigerator is now plugged into the wall. See, it's in the wall socket there. And it is on. So, let's step back outside and go look at the inverter and make sure nothing's burning up in the power shed. <laughs> All right. And if it's all good, I'm not coming back out of this cabin for a while. There we go. Now, I still should only be pulling 20 amps or 20 watts. That's what I was pulling before. Let me make sure that's all I'm pulling now. Hang on. Yep, so nothing changed. If I can get you in there, pulling the 20 watts, I'm still at 26.5, and the only thing that changed is my extension cord is now plugged into the cabin. Now, what is really nice about this, let's say I've gone three or four days without any light. I know it's going to be hard to imagine, but... Or if a problem happens. If I have a problem with the batteries. The beauty behind this setup is... My generator is going to be setting in here as well. I start the generator. I unplug it from the inverter. I unplug the extension cord. Plug it into the generator. My cabin is all powered. So... I know you can put switches inside, you know, uh, the service panel, but this is easier for me. Just unplug the inverter, plug it into the generator, 
and I still have the power going throughout the cabin. So yeah, that was a success. Now I can stay in the cabin and get warmed up. <laughs> Turn some lights on. Hell yes. Man, it is so cold out here. And it's not even cold yet. It's in the 30s. We got cold coming uh, next week. Plenty of single digit nights and teens during the day. But that's winter time. All right, in this short time I've been here, we're up almost to 8 degrees. Heck yeah. Oh, so I am happy. Let me do something else here real quick. Try to get the light turned on. So the lamp is now plugged in to this receptacle. Let's see if we have juice in it. Oh, looky here. Heck yeah. Dang. I like it. I certainly like it. Now I get rid of extension cords and wires running all over the place. Yeah. Alright, so that's how I hooked my that's how I hooked my solar into the service panel. And have electric in the cabin. That is so cool. All right. I'm going to get this uploaded. Remember to like, share, comment, blah, 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 blah. This is, like I said, Saturday the 17th. I'm going to try a live stream from the cabin tonight. So at 8 o'clock, I'm going to try to do a live stream. Y'all check and see if I'm actually able to do it. <laughs> but uh, till then... I'm out.